So we go up through the bottom of the bed from underneath. Yeah. Um, this goes down through the top. It's actually recessed underneath. Right. So then there's a uh, Sika Flex on a rubber washer, a flat washer, a hex nut, and everything gets tightened down. Once everything's tightened down, we finish it off with a self locking nut. So okay. Hi, my name's Dave, and I've spent most of my life outdoors here in Canada's western frontier. I believe one thing to be true. Outside is therapy. It's where we both reconnect and disconnect. I hope you'll come with me as we build, explore, and repeat. here in Calgary, Alberta at Fart Systems. Now when you're starting a small business, especially an outdoor brand, cost of manufacturing can be enormous. But there is absolutely nothing wrong with building out of your garage. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what Al and his wife Joanne have done here in Calgary. They are building one of Central Alberta's, probably Western Canada's coolest build out custom camp kitchen companies that you can possibly imagine. He's already done countless builds for countless campers, including the LU Cab, the Super Pacific, but today, it's all about the Yucapac camper. We're getting this thing dialed in for Dragon's Den, and without Al's help, that would not have been possible. So shout out to you, Al. Before I drag my feet on this, let's get into it. So Al, what we're doing here first is installing the base plate, correct? Correct. Because yeah. everything that you build actually mounts to a base plate. The base plate gets secured down and then your, your system gets built on top of it. Correct. We try to make the systems modular. In the future, if you want to add another box here, an upper storage box, those kind of things, what we do is we just put the captive anchors into the base plate so that in the future you want another cabinet, bang, bolt it in. Literally. That's awesome. So it gives you a really nice solid surface to walk on without any deflection. Right. And when you're jumping down out of your camper in the morning, those kind of things, right? It gives you such a solid grounded foundation to walk on. It's comfortable. It's actually warm. It yeah. helps to retain some heat. Right, so, a little bit of thermal mass there, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's that's why we like to go with a base plate. You decide, oh, I gotta go to Home Depot and pick up five sheets of plywood yeah. and 85 yeah. fence boards. You can just unbolt the kitchen cabinet, slide it out, yeah. and you've got a truck back. And you've back got the truck again. back, yep. Yeah, it's this is really nice. absolutely insane. So it's fully waterproof. Yeah. But the top is very hygroscopic. Well, I'm super stoked to have a floor. One thing about a camper like ours, um, we do have a barn door coming, but ours and a lot of other manufacturers don't, right? So there, it, there, like you were saying earlier today, there is a you, ha you do have to climb in to a camper and when, on your knees, this ribbed, this ribbed plastic stuff is just killer. We've just found that over the last couple of years that, that having a base plate makes all the difference absolutely in the world. yeah it's 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 a huge bonus to have yeah i agree so yeah we're gonna bolt that right through it goes right through the uh we use three eight sixteen black bolts. bolts yeah uh elevator bolts actually. okay cool so they're headless kind of well there's no uh normal head on right it, you see they go right through the box your truck double nutted on the bottom cool it's 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 never going to come out you know it's not a good Unless weekend it's not a good weekend until you're double nutted <laughs> <laughs> under there yeah he uh he had it out on the road for about two weeks so we go up through the bottom of the bed from underneath yeah um this goes down through the top it's actually recessed underneath right then there's a uh, Sika flex on a rubber washer a flat washer a hex nut and everything gets tightened down once everything's tightened down we finish it off with a self-locking nut so okay. and everything gets coated with uh, anti-corrosion so okay uh, and anti-seize as well so 
Awesome. So once it's in there, it's very unlikely to rust, is what you're saying. Yeah. 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 I know a lot of people are adverse to drilling through their beds. Um, we experience that with campers too. Some people want them bolted to the box. Yeah. Uh, the big, the biggest thing is, is, as you said, knowing the integrity of your box, knowing where to bolt. Yeah. Right. Um, and the other side of it too is also making sure you seal it. Right. Right. You know, you you have to use things like rubber washers and Sika flex yeah. and things like that yeah. because these. These are vehicles. They're well, it's, it's it's the quality of the of the of the sealing you know, you're using. You know, Cicaplex yep. is used in a lot of different manufacturers yeah. and campers. We use it. It's also used in skyscraper. Yep. Like it's how they glue. They literally glue concrete panels and skyscrapers, and uh, it's designed to flex and seal. So it's a really good quality product. All right. Still gotta find my goddamn bit. Alan Duncan Campbell. Oh, I can't Ow, this thing looks absolutely stellar, man. <laughs> you did a crazy job. It was installed in mere minutes. Yeah. What did you do? What's 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 special about this one here? Um Realistically, what we tried to do, because, I mean, we look at these truck boxes today. We've got a Tacoma, which which takes a 58-inch slide. You've got a Frontier, which takes a different slide. So, realistically, with yours, what we tried to do was marry some of your needs that you needed to. I mean, rather than just making this all kitchen tunnel, mm -hmm. we decided to go with a 40-inch kitchen drawer, a 30-inch stove tray, and then in the back, we have the remaining space where Dave can actually install his diesel heater inside the actual uh, cavity of this system, and it's fully separated from the uh, from the main drawer itself. So, the last thing you want to be doing is packing up Thursday night, getting everything ready, and Friday getting off work, loading up your perishables, loading up the cooler, lo loading everything up on Friday. You're you're out of town by finally at six seven o'clock at night. Yeah. Roads are absolute mayhem. With this, I mean, everything's already in here. Yeah. Your camp stove is in here. Your propane bottles are in here. Your cooking utensils are in here. Your pots, your pans, everything is already in here. That is one tote you don't need to unload and load every time you go. Everything has a place. Everything is secure. All of our lids are compression latches. It's not just hoping that the lid stays on a tote. Mm -hmm. Right? So... You know, these things are actually made to be put through some pretty gnarly yeah. terrain. Yeah. Um, they're all 100% Baltic birch plywood. Uh, all the screws are epoxy coated. It's they're they're insanely insanely strong. And realistically, for the size of them, they're actually quite lightweight. They are very lightweight. Actually, I was saying that was saying that before we even got started here is I had to pull out that old drawer system that you guys would have seen in here before I come out here today. I pulled it out yesterday. It's so damn heavy. It's probably twice as heavy as it should be because it's all made by heavy two by two by eight. Um, it's designed to be an F three fifty. I'd be curious if it was even lighter. Even like maybe not with the base plate, but the drawer itself, I'm confident is probably lighter. Well, I, I think all in um, with this. Looking at the material removed, I think we'd be at We'd be just a shy of 200 pounds. Yeah, that's nothing. All in. Yeah. So, and that's for the kitchen drawer, the base plate, everything. Right. And going with a single point drawer handle release now too, rather than having to do this every time. Yeah. This is just single handle now. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of nice. And again, they're lock in, lock out. So if you're parked downhill, you're not worried about this whole thing. Yeah. Going in and crushing Jimmy's hands, right? So. Yeah. I told Alec, I don't care. You got full creative control over this thing, but I need a spot for fishing rods. So right on the side there, I've got a little cubby which is currently currently holding my fishing gear. So it's got two spin rods and my fly gear in there right now. And it all fits in a five foot box. So really, really jazzed about that, man. Sorry. <laughs> it's a good thing this channel is demonetized. <laughs> If you guys want to learn more about Al and what he's doing here at Fart Systems in Calgary, where can they find you, Al? Uh, www.fartsystems.com or on Instagram at fart underscore systems. 
and uh, Facebook. Bart you guys Sanders. can also find him all over Instagram right now because Al is the quintessential place to go right now if you're looking for gear like this. There has been multiple um, content creators and uh, outdoor enthusiasts that operate within the outdoor adventure space online that have had builds built by Al. So if you guys want to see more, there's lots. You can probably just look up the Fart Systems hashtag and, and find them all cool. If you guys have any other questions though, leave them in the comments. Al's gonna be looking through the comments. I'll be looking through the comments. We'll be able to help you guys out. Two really good beards in one video. That's not bad, eh? Mm -hmm. That's not bad. You mm -hmm. got the curl going? I can't. My mustache does what it wants to. I can't. You're the boss of your mustache, Dave. I can't. Don't let your mustache it just, be it, the boss. It of does. You. It's, it's, it, it is the boss of me. <laughs> <laughs>
We've got about an hour and a half drive north. And uh, <clears throat> to get back to the shop, we're gonna pull the camper in, uh, update it a little bit, make sure that everything's in there that needs to be in there. Um, and then hopefully I have an email for parts. So let's get going. All right, gang, <clears throat> I have uh, I have been holding on to a secret, and I don't know if it's necessarily a secret, not so much a secret if you follow us on social media, um, but I haven't shared everybody with what's going on, and I want to do that now before this video ends so that you all know what's happening. A few months ago, Tyler and I, as Blind Man Overland, uh, submitted an application for the TV show Dragon's Den. TV show Dragon's Den is where entrepreneurs basically pitch their product to a bunch of venture capitalists in the hopes to make it big and blow their brand up so that they can take their product to the masses. That's what we've done. We got selected. We've gone through the process of doing some practices with the producers online. And now it's time to start making the drive. So we film May 8th. Um, it is now the Sunday before the day before I leave and I've got the truck all set up with everything that we need along with some new goodies from our friends at Sojourn Overland, uh, fart systems, um, and we're super, super stoked to get this going. Um, so that's what's going to happen, guys. What we're going to plan to do is we're on, via our social media. So make sure you're following us on Instagram and Facebook. We're going to be basically showing you guys where we're going to be and when we're going to be there generally. And if you guys want the opportunity to see a you could pack in person, I really want to encourage you to, um, <clears throat> when you see our story posts and our posts online, uh, just send us a DM and we'll post up somewhere for a few minutes uh, in every major city that we're going to and we'll just kind of hang out. And if you guys want to take a look at it, That'd be super cool. We're also going to attempt to fish as much as we can on this trip. We're taking five days to get down there, but then we're going to have to turn and burn back. We only have a week dedicated for this because we have so many builds that we need to get done. We've got six on the board right now, not including the Crave Tacoma that you guys just saw us install for Crave Automotive. So big moves. We're making big moves right now in order to get our product to the world. You guys have been a part of that journey from the beginning. So if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you very much for everything. I want you guys to remember that if you're not already subscribed, hit that like and subscribe button. It's the best way to help us grow without being a venture capitalist. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you all so very much. The next video you're going to see is me on the road chasing my dreams. See you on the next one.